Hello and welcome to Tech Deals EVGA's Supernova P2 850 watt 80 plus platinum certified fully modular 12 year warranty power supply unboxing and overview. That is a long name, I know. This video is designed to accomplish two goals. Number one, do you need a power supply like this? Is it a good deal? What kind of computer is it for? I want to answer all those questions. And number two, we'll take it out of the box and show you what you get for this much money. Now, on the day I recorded this video, this power supply was $149 on both Amazon and Newegg. Link to Amazon and Newegg in the video description below. Those are affiliate links. They do support the channel. EVGA did not send me this. I bought this with my own money. I bought it on Prime Day for a nice discount. But it is a good power supply. It's actually made by Superflower, who's the OEM. They're a, one of the major international companies that make power supplies. They're known for making quality units. And this is a very top end one. As I said, it is an 80 plus platinum. So it's 92% efficient on 110 volts, 94% on 220 at 50% load. Less at 20 and 80, it's worth noting that that high rating only applies in the middle band around 50% load. But before we actually take this out of the box, I wanna talk about who should buy this, what kind of computer it needs, etc. What we're not going to do is do any fancy high-end power supply testing where we test ripple and load and overcurrent, undercurrent, overvoltage, undervoltage protection. It has all those features, but I'm not gonna test them. Those require thousands of dollars of power supply test equipment. Places like Johnny Guru do stuff like that. He is well known for being one of the best power supply testers in the business. He has tested stuff from Superflower in the past who basically made this power supply. EVGA just retails it. And I'm simply going to take his word for it and EVGA's word for it that this does what they say it's going to do. Instead, I'm looking at it from the point of view of, is it a deal? Is it worth $150 for the features it gives you and what kind of computer needs it? And maybe which kind of computer should you just buy a 50 or $75 power supply for instead? First of all, let me be very, very clear. If you are building an i7-8700K or a Ryzen 7 2700X computer with a single video card, you don't need this. It's overkill. It's nice. It offers room for expansion. It certainly is very power efficient, has great features, great cable management, great warranty but you do not need to spend $150 on a power supply for such a computer. Unless you plan to do two graphics cards in SLI. Now these are 1070 Ti's and you could probably get away with a little bit less power supply on those. 1080 Ti's would want this for sure. But either way, this becomes more reasonable because now you've got $1,000 worth of graphics cards here. So 150 for a power supply starts to become pretty reasonable. The other people who should buy this power supply are Threadripper and Skylake X builders. If you're going to that level, if you're spending $1,000 on your CPU, two, three, four hundred dollars on your motherboard, etc. You're putting in tons of RAM, tons of expansion, possibly multiple graphics cards, but even one. Yes, this is quite reasonable for a top end, high end desktop such as that. As I said before, most people don't need it. The truth of the matter is you could run either a Ryzen 7 2700X or an i7 8700K and this GTX, a single GTX 1070 Ti on this. This is a 450 watt 80 plus bronze EVGA power supply, regularly available for under $30. In fact, that one I think I paid $23 or $24 for, it was on sale. Yes, you really can do that. I've done that and I've tested it with a power meter draw from the wall. A GTX 1070 Ti and an i7-8700K, now they'll pull 80% of what that power supply can do. It's not very power efficient. In fact, 85% at 50%, it's gonna be down in the 80 to 82% range if you're pulling 80% of its power, but it will do it and it's pretty cheap. Now, would I recommend it? No, there are power supplies between these two that you should go to. This has a shorter warranty. It's not built nearly as well. It's not modular. If you're going with an 8700K or 2700X, spend a little bit more, but you don't have to spend 150 and that's the point. If you are looking for something in the middle ground, this is it. 80 plus gold, 550 watt power supply. This is currently $69. So it's not as cheap as the 450, but it's got more power and it's more efficient and it's got more features on it. And it's less than half the price of this. Now, if you want the 850 watts, but you don't care about the platinum, currently on Amazon on the day I'm filming this, the 850 watt G3 
is only $99, which actually makes it a better deal. But I don't have one of those. I have one of these. That also is a sale price that might not last. That is why all of this stuff is linked in the description. Everything I'm discussing, the analysis of price, what's a deal, completely just depends upon the price. I didn't pay $149 for this. I bought it on Prime Day for less. This might be more, the 850 watt version might be more in the future. So you have to look at the price and decide, do you want to pay an extra 10 or $20 for the extra power? But for a single graphics card, even a GTX 1080 Ti on an 8700K, 550 watts is actually all that you need. And with that out of the way, it's time to unbox this and show you all the goodies inside. It's a power supply, I know. Oh, this is really well taped. They don't want you to get in here. I continue to film these unboxings because honestly, the larger channels don't. And some of them either used to and don't anymore because I guess they're big and fancy now or they think their audience doesn't like it. I don't know. You tell me in the comments down below. Do you just want the analysis and comparison or do you like the unboxing part to see what's in here? It's not hard to film the unboxing, but it does take time and it takes edit time too. So if nobody really wants to see it, then well, maybe I won't do it. Oh, this is nice. I have said it before, I will say it again. Quality products come in quality packaging, cheap products come in cheap packaging. That EVGA 450 watt 80 plus bronze I showed you before for under $30, yeah, it's just wrapped in some bubble wrap thrown in a box, there's nothing. It's the most ugly packaging ever. This is gorgeous. Now, some of that's just presentation to make you feel better after spending this much money. This retails for 200. It's rarely 200 on Amazon. It's 200 on EVGA's website. We have ourselves a nice manual. Oh, wow. Well, that is a lot of languages. It has color in it. There is nothing overly fancy about this manual though. Cable configuration. Now, I used to, in previous unboxings, take all the cables out and hold them up one at a time. I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'll just read it to you. There is one 24 pin ATX power connector, two four plus four CPU power connectors. So it does have the connectors needed for high-end Threadripper and Skylake X builds. The PCI Express power connectors are interesting. There are in fact six of them. Four of them are six plus two, meaning they're basically eight pin connectors, but can also be six but two of them are six pin only. So if by chance you had three video cards that each need two eight pin connectors each, this actually wouldn't cut it. But if you have three video cards, you need the 1200 watt version of this anyway. But this really isn't an issue for most people. There are 10 serial ATA power connectors on three separate cables. There are four four pin Molex connectors on a single cable and then a floppy uh, adapter, floppy power connector adapter. Well, this is fancy. This says EVGA right on it. For those of you curious as to what this is, this is nice. This is for holding the extra modular cables that you don't need when you build your system, but you don't want to lose. It's fully modular, so you're only going to put some of the cables on, but if you want to upgrade or expand in the future, stick them in this very nice Velcro pouch. A thick, heavy-duty power cord to the wall. If you are upgrading a lower-end power supply, do not reuse an old cable, especially when they're thinner. If you have, say, that 450-watt uh, power supply I showed you before, the cable in that box is not this thick. You want to use the thicker cable for a high-end power supply. Velcro cable management strips. You can easily attach them, uh, reattach them, disconnect them, etc. For the PCI Express connectors and other cables that you might move, connect, disconnect, very nice to have. Power supply tester. This connects to the 24 pin connector. This lets you make sure the power supply works before you build your whole computer around it. Case screws for connecting it to the case. All the cables, which I read to you before, I'm not even gonna try to unconnect them and show what they are, but there's a lot of cables here. And then finally, we have the power supply itself. This is nice, it comes in a Velcro bag. I like the look of this. Now, looks are, of course, totally subjective, but I don't like a bunch of colors and a bunch of gaudy labels on my power supplies, especially when I'm doing a premium build. Now, there is, of course, the legally required label here that has the information that has to be there, but it's not too bold. There's a little bit of white here. That's all the stats and figures on it. That's pretty sharp looking and doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. The other side looks much the same. Eight billion modular connectors for that whole stack of cables. 
And then the only thing on the back is of course the power cable connector itself and then a physical hardware switch. Otherwise, it's a power supply. I like it. If you want power efficiency, if you care about your power draw, an 80 plus platinum, fully modular, 12 year warranty with all these options for $149 is a pretty good value for the money. Now, by the way, it's a 10 year warranty out of the box, but you get a two year extension by registering it directly with EVGA. For those of you curious, they mostly do that to counter the new 12 year warranties from the other companies like Seasonic. In any case, like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with that big huge red button directly below. Questions and comments in the comment section, links in the video description, links to this, links to the 80 plus gold, links to the 80 plus bronze, everything else I discussed will be down in the video description below. Those are affiliate links, they support the channel. Please use them when shopping. I did buy this, as I said, this was not sent to me by EVGA, but you'll see this in a future build. I don't know which one yet, but it will definitely get used for something. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.